Starstreak is a British short-range manned portable air defense system, ManPads, manufactured by Thales Air Defense, formerly Shorts Missile Systems, in Belfast. It is also known as Starstreak HVM, High Velocity Missile. After launch, the missile accelerates to more than Mach 4, making it the fastest short-range surface-to-air missile. It then launches three laser beam riding submunitions, increasing the likelihood of a successful hit on the target. Starstreak has been in service with the British Army since 1997. In 2012, Thales rebranded the system under the Force Shield banner. Development development on the missile began in the early 1980s after an evaluation of missile and gun options to increase air defense capabilities showed that a high-velocity missile system would best meet the needs and could also replace existing shoulder-launched missiles. A general staff requirement, GSR-3979, was drawn up with the requirements of the system, specifying the requirement of three launch platforms for the missile, a self-propelled launcher, a three-round lightweight launcher, a manned portable launcher. In 1984, the British Ministry of Defence awarded development contracts to British Aerospace, Bay, and Shorts Missile Systems. The Bay missile was known as Thunderbolt HVM. Shorts won the competition and were awarded the £356 million. Further development in a production contract materialised in November 1986, and the missile was officially accepted into service in September 1997. The missile was intended to replace the Javelin surface-to-air missile in British service. The LML and shoulder-launched versions have been in use since 2000. In July 2001, Thales received a contract for a successor identification friend or foe system for Starstreak. In mid-2007, Thales UK in Northern Ireland revealed that it had developed Starstreak 2, a much-improved successor to the Starstreak missile. Some of the advantages included in this new missile are an improved range of 7 km, 4.3 miles, improved lethality, an improved targeting system and the ability to operate it at much higher altitudes, up to 5 km, 16,000 feet, in 2011, when it won a contract for the lightweight multi-roll missile, Thales announced it agreed with the mod to re-roll previously contracted budgets to facilitate the full-scale development, series production and introduction of the LMM. The contract affected is speculated to have been Starstreak. Description when used in the light or manpads roll the Starstreak missile is transported in a sealed launch tube. This tube is attached to an aiming unit for firing. The operator tracks the target using the aiming unit's optically stabilized sight. The process of tracking the target allows the aiming unit to compute the right trajectory to bring the missile together with the target. The operator can indicate wind direction to the unit and, in the case of a long-range target, provide super-elevation. When the initial tracking is complete, the operator fires the missile by pressing a button. The missile then fires the first stage rocket motor, which launches the missile from the tube, but burns out before leaving the tube to protect the operator. 4 meters, 13 feet, away from the operator, when the missile is a safe distance away, the second stage fires, which rapidly accelerates the missile to burn out velocity of more than Mach 4. As the second stage burns out, three dart sub-munitions are released. The dart housing is made from a tungsten alloy. The darts are each 396 mm, 15.6 in, long with a diameter of 22 mm, 0.87 in, and weigh about 900 grams, 32 ounces. Around half the weight of each dart, approximately 450 grams, 16 ounces, is its explosive charge, detonated by a delayed action, impact activated fuse. Each dart consists of a rotating forebody with two canard fins attached to a non-rotating rear assembly which has four fins. The rear assembly of each dart also houses the electronics that guide the missile, including a rearwards-facing sensor. The darts do not home in on laser energy reflected from the target but instead the aiming unit projects two laser beams which paint a two-dimensional matrix upon the target. The lasers are modulated and by examining these modulations the submunitions sensor can determine the dart's location within the matrix. The dart is then steered to keep it in the center of the matrix. The submunitions steer by briefly decelerating the rotating forebody with a clutch. The front wings then steer the missile in the appropriate direction. The three submunitions fly in a formation about 1.5 meters, 4.9 feet, in radius, and have enough kinetic energy to maneuver to meet a target evading at 9 grams at 7,000 meters, 23,000 feet. Earlier laser guidance systems used a single beam that had to be kept on the target at all times. The missile homing in on laser energy reflected off the target. If it moved off the target, the reflection would end and guidance would be lost until T. Key target was regained. The problem could be reduced by making the laser's beam wider, but only at the cost of lowering accuracy and reducing the amount of energy being reflected. 
Starstreak's system allows for the beam area to be much larger than the target while retaining pinpoint accuracy. On impact with the target, a delayed action fuse is triggered. This gives time for the projectile to penetrate the target before the explosive warhead detonates. The tungsten housing is designed to fragment and produce maximum damage inside the target. A demonstration was conducted in September 1999 that showed the missile being used against an FV-432 armored personnel carrier, showing the missile's effectiveness as a surface-to-surface -surface weapon. Each sub-munition dart traveling at 4,500 km per hour, 1,200 meters per second, 4,100 feet per second, 2,800 miles per hour, has comparable kinetic energy to a shell from a Bofors 40mm gun. However, it lacks the armor penetration capabilities of a purpose-built anti-tank guided missile or of a dual-purpose missile, such as the air defense anti-tank system. Advantages Starstreak has a number of advantages over infrared homing guided, radar homing guided, and radio command guidance MCLOS, SACLOS, e.g. blowpipe or javelin missiles, it cannot be jammed by infrared countermeasures or radar, radio countermeasures. It cannot be suppressed with anti-radar missiles service history the missile was brought into service with 12 regiment royal artillery and 47 regiment royal artillery in 1997 as part of the high velocity missile hvm system equipped with both the air defense acquisition device a dad and a times 60 thermal sight each regiment was equipped with 108 hvm self-propelled armored launchers mounted on the stormer track chassis capable of holding eight missiles ready to fire and a further eight reloads originally 12 but some capacity was removed during a later modification this made them the largest armored regiments in the British Army at the time. The launchers could originally run on batteries for extended periods to minimize their signature but significant upgrades have dramatically increased the system's power requirements. A light roll variant known as HVM Lightweight Multi-Launch (LML), capable of holding three ready-to-fire missiles was also brought into service with the Air Defense Troop Royal Marines and a Royal Artillery Air Assault Battery attached to 16 Air Assault Brigade. The system's armored variant HVM self-propelled, Stormer, saw service during the Second Gulf War but did not fire. The British Army currently use the A5 5th generation missile which has significantly improved from the original missile and the HVM SP and LML variants now carry a mix of both Starstreak A5 and lightweight multirole missiles. In 2012, the Ministry of Defense announced that it would be placing HVM LML light roll detachments equipped with Starstreak A4 missiles on top of several blocks of flats in London in preparation for the 2012 London Olympics. The ministry claimed that the area was the only suitable location for an air defense detachment of the type. Some residents were upset and uncertain of the necessity of the detachment. In 2013, the British MOD ordered 200 more Starstreak missiles. On 9 March 2022, Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said that the United Kingdom was looking into delivering Starstreak missiles to Ukraine, to prevent Russian air supremacy following the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. Variants a task, air-to-air Starstreak, fired from a helicopter. This was developed in combination with McDonnell Douglas and Lockheed Martin Electronics between 1995 and 1998 specifically for use with the AWS-64 Apache. It has yet to enter service. LML fired from a lightweight multiple launcher LML that holds three missiles ready for firing and can be used as either a stationary launch unit or mounted on a light vehicle such as a Land Rover or HMMWV Humvee the LML originated in a proposal under the army suggestion scheme for the javelin system sea streak two versions of a naval mounting have been demonstrated a one-man mount similar to the LML but carrying a total of six missiles and a close-in weapon system mounting holding 24 missiles Self-propelled SP HVM carried on an Alvis Stormer AFV with a roof-mounted eight-round launcher with internal stowage for a further eight missiles. This is the most common variant. Starstreak Avenger, built to a U.S. Army requirement in the early 1990s, this system integrated the Starstreak missile on the Boeing Avenger vehicle, replacing one pod of Stinger missiles with one pod of four Starstreak and modifying the fire control system accordingly. Starstreak Mark II, upgrade to the Starstreak. Thor, multi-mission system, MMS, A4 missile turret mounted on a Pinsgauer, 6x6, cross-country chassis, unveiled by Thales UK in 2005. Rapid Ranger weapon launcher on UROVAMTAC vehicle operators UNI.